What's going on, Call of Duty fans, and welcome back to Around the CDL, episode 19. We're one away from the big 20, so that's definitely exciting. But Alex and Preston with me as always. Boys, how are we feeling? What's up, guys? I'm excited, man. It's always fun. It's always, it's always like just way more exciting doing these before a major, the weekend heading up into a major. So uh, excited. Not as excited to talk about the past weekend, but excited to talk about the upcoming weekend. And uh, yeah, just happy to be here as always. What's up, chat? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I was working all weekend, so I was not able to watch any of the matches. <laughs> uh, but I'll try to give my insight where I can. Um, but you know, I'm excited. The boys won. BLA Thieves, third seed, play Ravens. Going to Toronto, could possibly play, play Toronto in the second round. I will be in Toronto, so I'm excited for that. I leave in two days, so uh, I'm excited to be at another land. I'm excited to watch the boys play live again. Um, but yeah, just excited to be talking COD before I head out. Facts, yeah, dude, major this week. I mean, yeah, we'll quickly go through uh matches from last week and just kind of touch on some things but we really want to talk about the bracket so we'll get into that as quickly as possible but last week interesting week man uh chad it is important to note the the, the our pickums tracker is getting closer and closer our leaderboard preston is now three behind alex and alex is three behind me so it's getting really close i kind of threw last week going with some different picks but it's okay yeah, I told you guys, don't stop believing me. <laughs> I told you. When I was down by 10, I was making the comeback. I swear, I told you. I'm on my way up. He is, he is. Um, but is there any series, really, you want to touch on this week? I mean, there were some good ones. There were some bad ones. Boston almost got their first win. Um, that team's so ass. Yeah. God, that Bo team is Boston, so ass. Bo I, I don't know if you guys saw the clips from the breakdown last night when they interviewed uh, Slasher. But he was basically like, yeah, I didn't think Snoopy was ready. I wanted to I, he said I wanted to put him down and I almost I was lost. It. He said I wanted to put him down to challengers. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I mean, oh, and seven after you make a double roster switch. I mean, what does Boston even do at this point? Because obviously Nothing. champs is pretty much out of the picture. But, you know, yeah, anything's well, possible. Uh, anything's possible. Uh, actually, that's not true. I, I maybe have like a brief suggestion, but there's really they're not making champs. Uh, unless Jesus Christ himself fills in as the fourth. Hey, for the you never know. Major. You never know. He, they're not making champs. Um, so the only suggestion that I can make is get rid of Pentagram, maybe get rid of Priesta. I like what you have in Beans. If you're dead set on keeping Snoopy, okay. You seem dead set on, dead set on keeping Snoopy, so keep him around too. And pick up two young players from Challengers that have been killing it for the past X amount of weeks, maybe months, and take a chance on them. You're not making champs. See what they got, and maybe you can start building your team for the future now. That's the only suggestion I have for you at this point, because this year for you is chalked. It's chalked. Yeah, I mean, Boston, <laughs> you're not good. I mean, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I mean, they took. I mean, given they took optics a game to game five, but man, their search and destroy is absolute butt cheeks. They're absolute butt cheeks. I mean, there's really not much to say about them. They need to step it the fuck up. Because at this rate, honestly, yeah, as Preston said, they're not going to champs. You might as well just start looking to the future, trying out new teams, see what what will work possibly for the next year. Because right now, mm -mm. pentagram. Yeah, I know people were excited for him to come into the league, but it's just not working out for that guy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he he has, you know, his games where he'll go 30 and 12. Like only against LAT. Just, yeah, he's just way too inconsistent. I mean, my guy got, got fried. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's time for him to go. I don't know what they got to do. Snoopy, yeah, he's cool. Beans is cool, but the rest of the team is ass, so. Yeah, I mean, they won one search and destroy this split. At least they got one. I mean, you know, it's all you could ask for. They, they did win a search versus uh, the Legion. Um, but yeah, I mean, looking at their stats on screen, Snoopy and Beans are really the only bright spots, both sitting at slightly over a 1KD, both with mid-80 Slayer rating. So they're, they're getting kills too, you know, they're, they're doing their thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, what? You bring Shawnee back, I guess, <laughs> you know, at this point. But no, I agree with Preston. I think you just kind of like 
pick take some take some young guns and challengers ask snoopy maybe who wants to play with or beans and just bring those dudes in let the team kind of build some chemistry see if there's any bright spots and in a month from now if the people you brought in also suck or they don't look good then next year you know to use full rebuild again it's like at this point the only chance you make in champs is if you make runs at both major three major four you do well in major four qualifiers and other teams shit the bed so you know mm -hmm. you're too far behind at this point i would just start looking to find your next guy you can bet on like you're currently doing with snoopy if that's what you're going to continue going with so yeah boston i mean biggest l of the of the season unfortunately um by far biggest l of the season yeah i mean that was a much that was literally a must win match for them uh it, it can't be stated enough that that was a must win match for them it was one in 11 in search and destroy is not going to win you many matches if at all i mean you just that's the you got to be good at pretty much every game mode to be a good team, but that's the mm. arguably the most important game mode to be good at. And to be one in eleven, you are not going to win many matches at all. So, yeah, man. I mean, not much to be said. Yeah, I think their chance to win was against Vegas, and they blew it. I mean, who else are they going to be? I don't think they're beating anyone. They're not beating anyone. I mean, yeah. Vegas was the worst team other than them in the recent weeks, I and mean, they hadn't won a map. They hadn't yeah. won a map. I mean, they changed, made a roster change, but yeah, now they're chalk. Yeah. They might go one seven next split too. Yeah, they're not even worth my breath at this point, to be honest. I'm not beating a dead horse with these guys anymore. Yeah. Um, I think another interesting series, just simply looking at the scoreboard. Was Atlanta phase versus Seattle surge? Uh, I don't know the last time I've seen numbers like this on a scoreboard at the end of a series. I mean, this is what happens when you, you lose 3-1 and you only win the search and destroy, right? Like you got... No, you didn't get totally slammed in the respawns. Like the six star, you lost by 100. You lost by 75 in map one. You only lost by one round in the invasion. But I mean, this is like... Look at the numbers on screen, bro. It's actually... in Selium went plus 37 and he wasn't even playing slow he had 93 kills mm -hmm. like it it just like i mean shout out to seattle for fighting i guess but good lord this is a hard scoreboard to look at if you're a surge fan it's phase i mean <laughs> if you're a surge fan you take it and the only thing you look at the scoreboard is we took a map off phase that's it other than that you don't look at the numbers who really cares because it's phase um but yeah i mean even that invasion, even though it's 3-2, it's invasion. It really wasn't close, to be honest. I mean, they had round five defense locked up by, like, 25 kills. And I'm pretty sure they had it by, like, four ticks, too. Mm -hmm. So, it really wasn't... N none of those respawns were particularly close. So, it's face. It is what it is. Yeah, I think... I mean, this is the kind of numbers you expect out of phase versus everyone. Even the top four. You know, even against Optic, who's probably the only team that could probably hang with them. I mean, it's just it's just going to happen. They're going to put up the numbers regardless. They're just that good. I mean, there isn't really much to say. Yeah, no. I mean, FaZe is... They're FaZe, man. And we're gonna, we'll get into them more. Uh, chat requested that we... Garrett specifically requested we talk about Miami. Mm -hmm. Now, Alex, I know you said this is one of the series you didn't really get to see. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean... This was a smoke show. Like, the Search and Destroy was the only thing that was even relatively close for LAG. But it, it I mean, good, dude, Miami, I mean, they're back in their, their prime online form in this matchup. Um, Preston, what, what were your thoughts with this one? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Jake, but I'm pretty sure that Six Star started off like 90 90. And then it uh, ended like we, two. We can actually see, shout out Breaking Point, they have map flows on here now and a whole bunch of other stuff on their their website and it was 97 99 there you go after, and then it ended the hill, it ended hill. one 250 to 129 so yep. it, as soon as miami started shooting it was not close and they just kept that for the rest of the series i don't know what happened i don't know if lag just died or if miami just flipped a switch but sometimes you know you'll you'll see it with random teams random series where they'll just hit flow in the in the middle of a series and i just think that's what happened with miami they got they got hot at the right time um we've been talking about how good real looks and he, dude he's good he's really he good is, he's really good he is really good this team has looked like they've been struggling 
uh, like last bit split they struggled. Beginning of this split they kind of struggled. He has really found his way in this team. He's improved their game. Uh, he is one of my favorite players to watch individually. Um, and and he's a big reason why this series was particularly not close at all. Um, do I think Miami is going to make a lot of noise to Major? Probably not, especially drawing a round one matchup versus FaZe. Yeah, that hurts. Um, but, you know, at least they should win a map, which they have not done this year. Uh, I'd be willing to bet that this team probably wins a map this major, uh, if not a series or two. Um, but yeah, I was I was impressed. I, I had LAG win in this series. Uh, it Like we've said, it was not close. They got slammed. I think it could have been like a bad series for LAG as much as it was a good series for Miami. But we'll see. Um, LEG has been historically lay animals this season. We'll see if that trend continues. No Adam Assault. Uh, no Adam Assault, but uh, I mean, we'll see. That's not exactly the series you want to have heading into a major. Last split, they beat face game five heading into the major. So um, quite, the, uh, quite the contrary here mm-hmm. heading into major three. Yeah, I mean, dude, I can tell you, I can tell you exactly what happened in map one, bro. I had, I had a Diamond Con prize picks over bet that chat <laughs> picked for me, um, and I, rem- I remember, I remember it very vividly. We were about halfway through map one, and someone in chat, I believe it was Rick, said Diamond Con is leading the lobby in kills, and he was like fifteen and ten, and I was like, W, shout out Diamond Con. He ended eighteen and twenty eight. He went three and eighteen. For the, the second half of that map, where they proceeded to get 30 points. So that's exactly what happened. Diamond Con went from leading the lobby in kills to getting absolutely Kentucky fried. I mean, he dropped 27 on the whole series, minus 25. So, brother, I mean, Estriel also only had like 6k damage. So, I mean, this was just a piss poor showing out of everyone at LAG. But, holy, was it like... I mean, shout to Metals, too. He led the lobby in damage by a, by a fair margin. Uh... Miami, man, I mean, you got some confidence going into your first, your first land with Real, Real's first ever pro land, so I hope to see them make some noise, because when they're getting hyped and stuff and screaming, it's, it's always exciting, but first, <laughs> tough round one matchup, man, really tough. Really tough. If there's a series for you to miss this weekend, that's probably it, Alex, because, I mean, unless you wanted to see a Miami Masterclass, it, was, it wasn't close. I mean, as long as you know... They're not being optic. That's all I care about. No. <laughs> uh, no. No. Not optic. Nope. Um, Toronto Ultra versus New York Subliners was also an interesting series. Now, this one had its ups and downs. We saw some reset cheese in that map four. Um, NY players saying they were teleporting and they were lagging, and Ultra players saying they were lagging too, and the refs didn't care and they weren't really complaining about it and they were still frying them. Um, but New York, man, continue to not be able to avoid the allegations of being kill whores. They, they slay out, they outslay their opponents, they get a load of kills, and they still choke respawns. Um, six point loss. That Vista, they were winning, was it 170 to like 50 at one point they were winning? Yeah, I mean, one, I can see it actually. Yeah, 171 to 49. 171, 49, and then they basically full 60 Toronto, the next hill. Uh, and then it was 242 to 166, and it ended 250 to 244. So they got, they got two points across three hills, New York, at the, at the end of the game. See, that to me is not even kills, especially on a map like Vista. And I won't talk long because I, I, I'll, I'll let Alex actually talk since he, he didn't get to talk last series since he didn't watch. But on a map like Vista, with the pacing as fast as it is, you just got to communicate properly. You're going to spawn up and take a gunfight in a matter of four or five seconds anyways. There is practically, practically zero reasoning for you not to get eight seconds before the other team gets whatever the math is, uh, 34 and 50, 84 seconds. Okay, that's really any map, but in this map in particular... When the hills are as close as they are and you are spawning as close as you are, there is zero reason for you not to just effectively trade to get eight seconds. So I don't know if the communication was bad or what it was, 
But that's just completely unacceptable, especially from a team that gets held as high a standard as New York does, truthfully. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say anymore about NYSL. I mean, like, I think hmm. we've, we've gone to the point where they're, I think I can confidently say they're not beating any, they're not, they're not being Toronto, Optic, or FaZe anymore for the rest of the year. I think with just the way that, that they're playing, they're not playing fundamentally how they played last year when they had Priesta, and you can clearly see that it's affecting them. I genuinely think that Sib was not a pack a punch over Priesta at this point anymore. Um, I mean, the fact, I mean, as you said, you were up, I don't even know how many, 171 to 49, and you didn't win the game. It's just like, it just doesn't make any sense. And then, I, do you, I, okay, I don't fully know about the crybaby cheese. You know, maybe they were lagging. You know, maybe Toronto wasn't lagging. You know, who knows? We, we'll never really know because we're not in the games. Nonetheless, though, you should not be losing that game. This this series should have been a lot closer. I just like I just don't know what to say about NYSL anymore. They are pitifully playing like the fourth best team in the league, and that's sad to say because we know that their ceiling could be really really high if they can put it together. But they just I don't know I don't know what's going on with them. They they just can't. I don't know if their teamwork isn't well. I don't know if they're trying to you know they can't break down the map how they want to it's just it's just not going well for them and i don't foresee it going well for them at the major either yeah i mean it's just i don't know what's up with them i mean when you look at like their stats for the most part it's kind of you know his and sib are i don't want to necessarily say like struggling because like the 0.95 isn't really that bad in the grand scheme of things, especially for a guy like Kids who's playing your entry SMG. But with the slaying power they have on this team, Hydra pretty much has no slaying help when you look at like Slayer rating. I mean, he's by far the highest on his team. His teammates are just not really, I don't know, helping him out in that aspect or winning enough gunfights and then they're just not getting in the hill. And it's like, I mean, you look at their objective per 10 minutes in hardpoint this split, no one has more than 60. Not a single person has more than 60 per 10 minutes. And if we go look at someone like, let's say, Optic Texas, just because they're a good team to look at. I just clicked on an ad. Shout out, shout out Breaking Point. Uh, Old Spice. I mean, Dashy has 69. So like, but they also have Shotzi at 65 and Kenny at 60. So like, they just got to get in the hill more, man. Ultra, uh, New York just got to get in the hill. I think that's honestly like, I mean, like Preston said, I mean, especially on Vista, Lou, do like that P1 towards the end of the game. Like just wait 10 seconds let let ultra get the 10 seconds and just four men hit the hill win your That's trades crazy. right you have the gun skill win your trades all you gotta do is sit there for six seconds as if you kill all four you win the game like they're not going to spawn up and get there in time um so i think I think they maybe just start to panic down the stretch when they when they're kind of throwing or getting close to losing um but yeah man sib for priesta is it is it biting them in the ass at this point, it looks like it. At this point, it yep. looks like it. I'm going to be honest, and this could be a crazy hot take, and you oh, guys God. let me know if I'm fucking Cancel him, Jack. Get ready to cancel him. Listen, I'm, I'm just going to be 100% honest with the way that I feel. If I am New York and I don't get a minimum of top three again this major, I'm making a team change. Mm. That's my opinion. Mm. Because I am looking at Optic and definitely FaZe, 100% dominantly FaZe, and I haven't been close to beating these guys in a very, very long time. There is no reason for me to attempt to even... Why would I not send a team that I feel at least I could have an attempt at beating, at fa uh, beating one of them at champs if I know that I'm probably not going to even come close with the team that I have now? It almost feels like a waste of a tournament, a waste of a season. It's late, and they're still top four, and I don't really know who they would get, to be honest. Like, I don't really pay attention, but something's not working. I don't know what it is. Something's not working. I, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, like, there's, just maybe, there's a player that's, 
like I don't know how the contract situation would work, but if a player doesn't make champs on a bottom four team and could get bought out by New York, I don't know how that situation could work. Uh, I don't really know contract situations, yeah. but I I just that's my take. That could be faded. I don't know. No, I mean, I like that. I think if I mean, we're definitely still going to see team team changes coming after this major. I think from. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if we do see team changes after this major. I feel like at this point, like, you're kind of stuck. Because if you make a team change, you're going into major four. Last major before champs. But it could be a possibility, though. I think the question is, who would they go after? I think that's, it's just the biggest thing. Like, I know someone said, buy out Ghosty. Mm. I don't think LA Thieves is letting go of Ghosty, unfortunately. No. Um, I Please think no. you'd have to... Like, you probably have to really pull from someone from the bottom four. You know, hey, Boston's at the bottom. Hey, P Dog. Please come you back. Come back? You want to come back? Um, if not that, then I mean, I think your best player is just a Challengers kid. But again, I don't really know who's like that in Challengers right now. I mean, so. people are saying, like, well, I don't see, I don't know personally because a lot of people don't like Sib in this place. People have seen Kismet struggle, so I don't know who you make the switch for. I don't know what players are available in challengers in those specific roles. I know Cobra's been cooking. I don't know what Cobra plays though. If he's an AR, I'm not sure. But I know he speaks I, he speaks French. I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, him and Hydra might get along. Um, I don't know. I I I I don't know chat. I really don't. Uh, they're I could tell you right now they're not gonna buy out Ghosty. Hmm. Um. He is far and away LAT's best player, but I don't. It, you're right to an extent. It's hard for them because who do you really see that could take somebody? No, not Slasher. Absolutely not. Who do you see <laughs> taking somebody's spot on that roster? I don't know. Yeah, that's but... a that's the toughest part for for. I mean. I, I even saw a clip of, like, Scump and the, the, their watch party talking about, like, if Ultra shit the bet at the Major, is Envoy going to get dropped? And it just, like, all comes back to, like, who do you bring in? Like, sure, they could go back to Hixie, I guess. Yeah. NYSL mm -hmm. could try to go back to Priesta, I guess. But, yeah. like, I don't know. Is it really going to make your team any better than it is right now? Is it going to be able to compete with FaZe? You know, I don't... It's, that's the that's the problem. You're not unless you're buying out a player that's a, of a, of a great caliber from another team, which is probably not going to happen. Because who are you going to buy out from a team that's not making champs? Because teams making champs are going to want to keep their roster. Mm -hmm. You just gotta. I don't know. At this point, you either gotta try to force it to work, or you have to do a press instead and just hope for the best. Make a make a switch. Find someone down in challengers and hope for the best. Because I mean. You know, you don't want to chalk up the rest. Of, like, if you're any of the top four, any team, I guess, making chance, but especially the top four, you don't want to just chalk up the season and say, ah, all right, you know, we'll, we'll take a top four at champs phase. You can have our optic. You can have it. Like, you know what I mean? So they're, they got to figure it out. But I will say, dude, Sib, Kiz, Envoy, they are kind of on hot waters a little bit. I don't really foresee them getting dropped. But like, you never know, man. The players would have a better idea of who they'd want to play with or who they think would work well on their team. So you just got to, you know, you got to play good at the major, man. That's all it's going to come down to. Especially with the fact that I, and I've seen it been brought up a couple times. I, like if you're NYSL in the back of your head, you got to think Hydra's a free agent. Dude, somebody's going to try to poach him. I, I'm almost guaranteeing yeah. he's going to try to poach him. And if someone's willing to throw him the bag. Hydra and Kleenex on Toronto. Bro, I was really dude. just about to say that. Uh, dude, he Nick might... said Ultra too. He might just, just, he's going to leave. So I, I think you just, if I'm NYSL and I don't do well this major, top, like I said, top three minimum, I'm doing everything I can to get Hydra to stay, and I'm trying to, to win us a championship out of the next two tournaments. That's just me, because if mm -hmm. not, I think Hydra is gone. I do. I think he's gone. Yeah. I guess they, they for sure have to do something. What that is, I have no idea. But again, NYSL isn't a team that, instills fear in me and like anymore like at the beginning of the season i'd be like oh shit like we're playing nysl reigning champs like we have to give them their respect 
Now I'm just saying, like, run at these fuckers, like, they're kind of ass, so, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, they need to figure it out. Yeah, New York, I mean, listen, we'll return to this conversation in a week when we see what happens at the major, but they're definitely, they're definitely in a tough spot, man, they're definitely in a tough spot. Um, and I guess the last real series to talk about is LA Thieves Optic Texas. Now, LAT did not get 3 0'd. Shout out the boys, save me uh, from getting clipped, which is nice. Um, yeah, I mean, this series, from my perspective, I don't know what we were doing picking sub base. I guess they decided they wanted to get a rep on sub base before heading into the major, sure. But you kind of wanted to win this because winning this series was the difference between playing New York or Carolina round one at the major. He doesn't really make a difference, I guess. Carolina's got upset potential, and New York's a teetering top four team, so I don't know what the difference really is. But other than that, and the, we got shit on Avista. We got absolutely shit on Avista. But, you know, as a whole, we probably could have won the invasion. Couldn't have picked sub base. I can't be too angry. We look good in search, at least. You know, that's always a positive. Hey. Jake. Sorry, he had to do it to you, dude. It's I will all, say it's all pred, bro. It was all pred. Oh, I will say I didn't watch this match because again, I was working all weekend, so I wasn't able to watch most of the matches. Um, I tried to catch up on highlights here and there, but from what it sounds like, sub base, you know, it was pretty evenly matched until it wasn't. Until Optic kind of just popped off, and again, I I truly don't think a lot of teams are going to want to play Optic on sub base anymore. Um, it's, I, I honestly. Well, again, we were vetoing sub base for so long. I thought we were ass at it. So I was like, <laughs> okay, clearly we're never going to play it. But clearly it, it was our fortress of, I think Preston said that in one of our text messages. Like, we, like it's really our fortress map from MW2 where we really sm slam everyone that we play. Um, and yeah, I don't, like, so I don't think we're, we're going to play sub base at all very much anymore. Uh, but it's good to know that we have that in our back pocket if we do want to play it at some point. Um, the, the Rio, I, again, I didn't really watch this, so I'll let Preston talk, talk on that. Uh, same with the control, but the Vista, I first played, saw all the highlights. Uh, we have a new theme song for LA Thieves. Um, that so will be... Stupid, <laughs> so stupid, dude. So stupid, dude. Great song. So, I mean, I love it, but like, come on. You, like I said, we 50 point club Vegas and they couldn't whip it out back then. I mean, they didn't have it, I'm guessing, obviously, but <laughs> of course they have to debut it when it's 100 T getting 100 point clubs. But it'd be what it'd be, man. It, it, Optic deserved the, deserved the praise. Yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, Go ahead, finish. No, it's, I was going to say, because Coda said, didn't Optic even slam phase on sub base? Uh, yeah, we did. So uh, I don't know if it was a slammage, but we, we beat them pretty pretty uh comfortably yeah i mean it was uh the series was just it was it just came down to the hard points that's it the control was literally a toss-up and lat won the S D. even though and it looks a lot closer it was pretty convincingly they won the S D. I i mean we, they optic almost made an insane comeback but it, it came down to the hard points it did um optic just looked I guess more polished is the way that I'll put it. Um, they looked way more in control. Um, the Vista was not particularly close by any measure. Uh, the sub base started off pretty close, and then we were talking about it before we actually went live. Jake said it was close until yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, it was 115 right... to 115 at one point. Yeah. And, and then, then it was right 205, there. 115, two hills later. Yeah, it, it was close until it wasn't. So um, it, it was just a hard point diff. Um, which is good to be an Optic fan. Um, but, I mean, if you're an LAT fan, you can't really be that upset. Like Jake said, I know you guys don't like playing sub-base, so I'm a little surprised that you played probably the best sub-base team in the game. If I mean, I'm a little biased. What were the vetoes? Do we remember what the vetoes were? Uh, we were talking about, I think, Optic vetoed Rio, and my guess is um, LAT vetoed Karachi. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Interesting. Uh, we which, didn't pick six star, which blows my mind. Considering we are actually like the low, low key dude, LAT could be in conversations for the best six star hardpoint team. So the fact that we didn't pick it to play optic, I don't know what's up there. I 
I don't know why LAT. It had to be a rep. It had to be because I, mean, I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, it's the only way I think it would. Make I don't sense. know why LAT didn't ban sub base and then left Karachi open because I'm not so sure Optic would have picked Karachi. I think yeah, they would have picked Six Star. I mean, really Optic is, was five and zero oh on Six Star. Yeah, because. Yeah, I don't know. They were five and zero on six star coming into this, and we were one and five. Like I don't understand. Both teams oh, yeah, are both teams are undefeated on six star. Sorry, on sub base. And both, but both teams are undefeated on six star. So I don't know. Maybe op, or maybe LAT was scared to play them on six star, or maybe they were just hoping to see if Optic would pick it. But trolled the first scared. map. Trolled the first map. They were well, scared to see Ann in the pool. Here's the yeah. good news for me and alex and every other optic fan this new map set is literally electric for the guys in green um between vista and six star at least in hard points which is the mode that we have been struggling terribly against phase at in particular they look good on both six star and vista and when you have two maps that you are good at like that especially especially when your best map is their auto veto they are forced to play one of those maps against you so you almost like to feel confident that you're getting at least one hard point win which we have not had against them in a pretty long time last time we played we played six star and we won um that being said phase is also good at them so but it's better than playing them on Karachi, um, which I really hope Optic bans Karachi instead of Rio. I think you just chow them on Rio. I'm gonna be honest. Dude, Optic I, is three and one in Karachi HP this split. Oh yeah, but barely, and it just wasn't great. Yeah, they barely I, beat I LAG, and they barely beat the worst Vegas Legion team I've ever watched in my life. And I don't know who else. And they got beat by Boston with yeah, a sub, Yeah, I mean, dude. FaZe is 10-2 on Karachi. Uh -uh. Maybe you don't want to play them. No. They are 6-0 and on Rio, but, I mean, you've had it close in the past, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I, mean, I know you're 6 and but... map against, I think, other than, like, that major one qualifier. Oh, hold on. The Karachi loss to FaZe were mainly Abe going crazy. I know, but, like... Dude, I just don't like that map. I don't. Mm. I don't. I really, and I get why you guys don't want to play them on Rio because they are six and zero. But we played them on Rio last series and we lost like two fifty to two forty one. So I don't know. It it doesn't matter because you're gonna have to play them on one. It just depends on which one you want to play. Um, and I guess it depends on if you want to play Vista or Six Star because Sub Base is never gonna be played again. Mm -hmm. I would actually be stunned if Optic ever plays Six Sub Base ever again. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, dude, it's, you know, you just got to, uh, I mean, Karachi, Rio, whichever one it is, I, I, Optic just has to, you know, win the last rotation, I guess, uh, which is easier said than done, but yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. I mean, they won't face off till winner's finals if they do face off, so that would be the, the first time, I guess. So we'll see if that gets there, but we'll get into our brackets. Alex is on the phone right now, chat, by the way. I know he's kind of out of, out of the screen, but, uh, He's technically on call for work, so he uh, has to answer the phone. So don't mind him. FaZe would pick Karachi so they can't play both Six Star and Vista. Yes, that's correct. Fa the way vetoes work, for those who don't know, uh, each team gets a veto for starters, and then each team picks a map. Uh, team A picks the first hard point, right, Jake? They pick map one, or they pick map four? I really don't know to be honest. I think I think team A picks map one and then team B gets map four. But um Yeah, so no matter what, FaZe gets Rio or Karachi. Every single series. They get one of Rio if Karachi if they want it, which I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, they so, probably do. Yeah. And they'll never have to play sub base ever again. Which is why vetoes are seen as important. Sorry, yeah, I mean, woo, go Optic. I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> no, you're good. We were just talking about, like, map vetoes for Optic and FaZe and stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we're going to have to play them on Karachi, I think, regardless. Because um, they're going to ban sub base. We're going to ban rear Karachi, one of those. So we're going to have to ego chow one of them. 
which I'm okay with because, again, all of our hard points with them have been pretty close other than the first since Major 1 qualifiers where they three out slammed us, but that's when we also didn't do so well in qualifiers in general. Um, we lost to Miami 3 out, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we'll be good with them. Ah, uh, Coda, their phase is never playing sub-base ever again. No, this is a shot. Sub-base is phases auto veto begin with, and they're definitely not playing Optic on sub-base. So my guess, if I was a betting man today, if they do play at the Major, we will see 6-star and Rio. That's my guess for the two hard points that you'll see. And if Optic wants to, you can replace 6-star with Vista. But you will see one of 6-star and Vista and Rio. That's my guess. Unless, for some reason, they feel comfortable on Karachi, which I have no idea why they would, based on what I've seen. But who the fuck am I? Yeah, who are you, brother? Who I don't know. You? Just the guy that watches God. That's it. That's all you are. Um, oh, what just happened? Okay. There's a scream on black for a second. Also, can we, can we talk about in chat? Gary and Upcast just reunited. They apparently were, they apparently played together back in Cold War and just rekindled their friendship in chat. That's actually <laughs> insane. That's actually insane, bro. Cold War I mean, was years ago, and you just rekindle your friendship. Let me chat. know what other Call of Duty podcast is rekindling friendships That's from facts, four dude, years facts. ago. Episode Honestly. 19, Friendships Rekindled. Oh, my God. I'm That's feeling sick. I'm getting a tickle inside. Okay. Um, I think it's time to talk about the, talk about the major, man. I think it's time to talk about the major. Uh, real quick before we get into brackets, I wanted to touch on the current betting odds. Uh, here, according to CDL Intel. So, to win the event, FaZe has the lowest odds, obviously. Then it's Optic and Ultra tied at plus 375, or 3.75, as you can see on screen, which I think is interesting. Maybe makes sense, because Ultra have been a little bit better, and it's their home major. But then there's a steep fall-off to Subliners at plus 1,100. Then to Thieves at plus 26. This is, I think, the most interesting thing. Thieves are at 26, and then it's a steep fall-off to Miami at 81. And then Surge and then Raven. So for some reason, they think Thieves is by far the best team at, the most likely to be a dark horse. But Miami over Surge, Ravens, Rocker is actually insane to me, considering Miami hasn't won a map on land. Uh, I just think that's because all the other teams below them have looked absolutely god-awful. Dude, but Ravens? I mean, come on, man. We, Ravens, Ravens are like 3-0 and when they're all in the facility playing together, and they've made... Like top six at the lands, you know. I guess, yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're good for a lock of top six, but I don't, I don't think. Dude, yeah. I, Miami though over Ravens, I think is crazy. But hey, you know what? we're gonna go through the brackets. Maybe that's what I'll have. Who knows? You won't. No, I probably won't. Um, and then the other thing underneath it is MVP odds. Celium with the best MVP odds, followed by Simp, then Scrap, then Draws and Abe. So all the phase guys, obviously in the top five. But Fred. Pred, the next highest and highest on Optic. With a dashy shot, see Kleenex and Hydra following him up. I'm sure there's other odds, or maybe, I don't know, this is just what's been posted. Um, sell over Simp for MVP odds is interesting. Pred over dashy? That's actually not, I don't think that's that big of a hot take field, just because dashy plays more of an enabler rule now he kind of just mm -hmm. he plays the objective and lets pred do whatever he wants so they're gonna look at stats first when picking an mvp award and if pred's playing pred levels he's gonna have a 1.25 with probably 100 kills a series so that doesn't surprise me yeah i, I honestly like it's not really unfortunate for dashy but like he i don't really see him being in, like winning another mvp with the current way the team runs and the way he plays you know what i mean like yeah. It's going to be Dashy or Shot. It's going to be Pred or Shotzi or even Kenny that would win an MVP over Dashy, unless he continues to do this like twenty plus thousand kill series yeah. where he's also dropping a one point three <laughs> and he's getting like two minutes in the hill each hard point. Like maybe then, but you you already know the CDL is going to pick the guys making the flashy plays and dropping one hundred and five kills in a series. So yeah. yeah, we'll see, man. But. We, uh, we can predict our, uh, who we think is going to win MVP when we get to our grand finals of each of our brackets. Sure. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hop on over. So, chat, only issue here is uh, they, uh, this, the, the website, that the, the Pick'em's website is not updated. So we have to use a uh, little homemade graphic here. Shout out to CDL Intel. This is their graphic on screen. I'm going to be basically 
screenshotting the team names and moving them around based on where we have them in the bracket. Uh, so you're going to have to bear with us. It's going to be a little bit more of a production today rather than using the Pick'em site. But we got to do what we got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to do what we got to do. Um, can you predict which... Oh, my God. <laughs> Slothy. Okay, I see you. Me. I see you. W Photoshop. Exactly. W Photoshop. But yeah, boys, who wants to go first, man? Who wants to go first with their bracket? Alex, you're muted, by the way, so I just just make sure you know before uh, you, you haven't you haven't tried to say anything that I've noticed, so you're good. But <laughs> totally do that. Uh, uh, w, uh, uh, I'll let Preston go first. All right, Preston. Okay. I, that works. I think I know how the bracket works. I mean, they already have on here loser of Atlanta, Miami plays Legion, so that's easy. It's the loser of winners round two goes to the opposite side of the bracket in elimination round three, right? Do I have that right? Yes. Okay, yes. so that's when it flips. All right, just making sure. Just making sure. But you guys can obviously see on the stream too. And I guess we're not really saying, we don't have map counts on here, but feel free to say your map count, I guess, if you want. Um, okay, sure. But yeah, Preston, take it away, man. Take it away. Right. I obviously don't know how these are going to be played out time-wise besides like the first four matches. I'm just going to do them in order because that's too difficult. So, um. All right, phase heretics. I'm gonna go three zero phase. Three zero phase. Uh, no, no, no hope. No, uh, mm. I, I don't have hope for that one. I do think they'll win a a, a map this event of uh, this event, but I don't, I don't see it being against phase. Um, LAT subliners. I got LAT three two. I do. I think this is going to be a lot closer than people are actually putting it out to be. Everyone's expecting this to be a uh, a top four masterclass again. Uh, Waldo is insane. Um, Waldo? But, oh my god. I, I, I got LAT in the game five. I've been Damn, impressed with their SAD. Right. And uh, I just really haven't mm. been thoroughly impressed with subliners. Um, so I'll give LAT an upset win here. Okay. Um... Having some bad takes tonight. Normally he cooks. Okay, let me lock in for you. I got Ultra 3 0 Surge. I don't think this will be close. Um, I got Optic 3 0 Carolina. Hey, I don't think hey. that'll be particularly close either, to be honest. Slow down. I can only copy and paste so fast. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Slow down. Sorry. 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 No, you're good. You're good. I'm just, I'm just playing sorry. with you. But for real, though, I can only go so fast. These hands don't work like they used to. I'm not young and spry anymore. Let me uh let me get all these losers in here. Let me get all the losers in here. Chat, you like this production, man? Leave a like if you like the production because <laughs> this this shit is the C the CDL Pickums website has to be the most poorly run website mm -hmm. I've ever seen in my entire life. They haven't even updated the points for the Sunday matches. Like Brother, it takes four seconds probably to input the scores. Like, just do it. Yeah. Just do it, dude. Nike, All right, come on. Moving on to day two. Um... Yep, day two. It's going to be even easier now because now I can copy and. Oh, actually, not unless you pick those. Okay, whatever. Sorry. Do you think? It's, this really feels like I should pick Miami, but I also really have a lot of faith in attach so this is like a hard one for me especially because major one like legion just bounced them but this is a new miami team i'm gonna go three two miami i do oh, I think, okay i think legion go out top 12 i think miami gets a a win here even though they have they've struggled on land and i i'm going to regret regret this i know i am because i really want to go vegas but I just think they've looked like a little bit of a better team, and I think this Vegas team needs a little bit more time to to practice with one another uh, before they actually become a solid team. Okay, I see you. I see you. Subliner Breach, I don't think that'll be close. Um, Subliners are going to win that one. Breach is god-awful. Shout out, I'm boss. Not even, not even wasting my time. Um, Seattle Rocker, this one's actually kind of interesting. This, to one's, be this one is kind of interesting. Uh... It's just a, fa a matter of how much faith I have in Rocker versus Surge. I'm going to go Surge in a game five, man. I do. A Surge is a pretty solid S&D team. All right. Um, 
And I, I trust them if it goes the distance. So I'll go search. Um. Wow. This 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 is honestly probably my like. Wow series because both of these teams absolutely cook on land and one of them is going to go home early. It's just a matter of which one it is. Um, I just, I don't see Clay going out top 12. I really don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. And I really want to pick LAG because I like those guys on that team. I just can't see it happening. And I tweeted a, a, like a week and a half ago that I could see LAG going top four. That was before they got slammed, and that was before I saw this bracket, because this, <laughs> this is an unfortunate lie. Um, yeah, you would have much rather play Miami or yes. Seattle. Yes. I mean, not New York, probably, but yeah. So I, I, I'm going to go I'm gonna go the Ravens here. I am. I'm going to go the Ravens. Um, it just is what it is. So you and go then, with all four teams that got knocked from winners down to losers to win. So not a single team that finishes the starts and losers is winning a series on your bracket. I guess not. No, hmm, isn't that crazy how that works? Wow. Hey, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, the teams who make winners are probably better. You know what I'm saying? Or at least looked at as better. That's that's my guess. I haven't really gone with many upsets except for like LAT. But OK, and then uh, elimination round three or I guess round two to get to three. Uh, I'm going to go New York. I think Miami gets a serious win, but I don't think it goes past New York. Uh, so we'll take New York over Miami. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to take the Ravens over Surge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Surge eliminated a major one, even though it's a uh, different major. I think Carolina gets their payback here. Um, that's where we'll go there. Now, for the winner's round, I unfortunately, Jake really want to go let but i don't see that happening. hey we almost beat him at major two we almost did it almost doesn't count uh so <laughs> i'm gonna go face um sorry uh and then optic ultra i'm gonna go optic so i think we get a uh, a rematch again of winners finals from major two okay hold on hold on He's moving and grooving. He's moving and grooving. Are you on Canva? Yeah, I'm on Canva. <laughs> I use Canva for for most of my stuff. Why wow, you don't? You, what do you like? You like Canva? You don't like Canva? <laughs> no, it, it, it just I never looked familiar. I was like, this no, I love I love Canva, bro. I use Canva for all of my uh, all my thumbnails. Chat, I know I spelled producer wrong, all right? I'm 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 rushing around here, right? I'm trying to be an expert producer. I'm right. trying to be an expert. And then Ultra Subliners, uh, we just saw what happened. I think it's a repeat. I'm going to go Ultra. I think Subliners finish top six, and they make a team change. Ooh, um, he's getting that's spicy. My that's my prediction. I don't think the top four is actually the top four this major. Uh, LAT Royal Ravens, I'm going to go LAT. I think LAT move on. They get their first top four finish of the year, which is exciting. I'm sure for Jake. Um. And honestly, well deserved. They've been playing some. Uh, they've been playing some solid COD. Uh, elimination round four. Ultra LAT. Unfortunately, Jake. I think this is the end of road for uh, your boys. Ah, that's fucked up. I think uh, Ultra <laughs> are gonna move on. Uh, oh, right. Honestly, though, very solid run for your guys here. Hey, very dude, solid. I would take a top. I would take a top six. Top four is even better. I think you guys are gonna get a top four. I really do. Uh, I, I think it's a solid run, but I don't, I don't, I don't see you guys beating Toronto just yet. Optic phase. See, here's the thing: whoever wins this series right here wins the major. I don't care. It doesn't matter because of the veto advantage you get in grand finals. Whoever wins this freaking ma this matchup right here is winning is winning it all. So, <laughs> what's it gonna be, Preston? What's it gonna be? Uh, may i remind you phaser six and over versus optic this season thank you all right man listen i'm over two picking optic so maybe we'll just reverse jinx ourselves i'll go phase okay this sucks i obviously you guys know who i want to fucking win so don't even don't even do what i know you're gonna do L fan um, chat, L fans, spam it in chat, L fans. 
And then I think I'll have Optic beating Toronto to get back into the grand finals. Um, and then obviously I'll take FaZe to win again. I just think they're better. But uh, Oh, he said obviously, chat. You heard that? He has no faith. Well, I just, because I just no said faith, whoever, I no faith, literally, <laughs> I just good. said whoever wins, winners finals winning. So Bang. yes, I have, I have phase winning. Um, do I, do I think Optic can win? Yes, I do. I genuinely do think, but I would be a fool and completely brain dead and a little bit bl- biased, a little bit biased. I wouldn't say brain dead cause you know, it's whatever, but. I'd be a little bit biased if I literally picked them to win this event and beat them twice without them beating them a single time. However, mm. it definitely can't happen. And I am one that is always going to believe in them no matter how bad it looks. There's no reason 0-6 and can't become 1-6 and and can't become 2-6. and there, There's no reason it can't. I'm just saying. At that same time, 1-6 and or 0-6 and can become 0-8. and So we'll mm. see. We will very much see. There's my bracket. Um, I hope that I am wrong or I'm right with everything up until winners finals. But yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, is I, it is is it is it bad that my bracket is the exact same? Exact same. Exact same. Like every match is the exact same. Everything is the exact same. Holy shit! That's actually crazy. That's that. That's that. That's that telepathy that's that telepathy that's that right? optic fan i genuinely thought you were gonna go with optic in the grand finals and i was like okay we'll be a little different in that holy shit but that's actually crazy we're the exact same on everything that he has that's typical wow that's actually crazy that's that actually, is actually crazy that's kind of well chat cool. here's preston and alex's uh <laughs> bracket <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> Here it is, dude. Are they gonna start kissing or something? Like, I mean, <laughs> shit, dude. What's, get, what's going on, dude? What's going on? For a reason. Oh that's, man. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, that's you know, this it makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. It's not the same as my bracket. This is not the same as mine. So I will, I will do my own. But sorry for disappointing everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is what I have as my bracket. I think I'm cooking something for bracket or for major four and champ. So. You cooking something? You're cooking? I'm definitely cooking. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let me uh, <laughs> let me do mine, I guess. That shit, that just kind of got a little anticlimactic, but also kind of cute. Let me delete they a bunch. They got LAT winning through winners. <laughs> Dude, I have LAT winning the whole event without dropping a map. Um, All right. So let's do it. Let's do it this way, man. Let's do it this way. Um, winners round one, FaZe versus Miami. I mean, I'm 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 going FaZe, right? Obviously, I'm I'm going FaZe. I don't think there's, I don't think there's any ifs, ands, or buts about it. I've seen some people in chat say they think Miami can catch FaZe slipping. Maybe FaZe is underestimating them. Um, I think Miami's about to get hork slammed through the through the main stage, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's really going to be that close. Uh, LAT subliners, listen, man. As an LAT fan, as the resident LA Thieves fan, I think I'm going New York here. I think I'm going New York. I, I just... New York are a team that look bad, and then they play well, and then they play well, and they look bad. It's not, an, it's not that I don't have faith in the boys. I think it's just like... I mean, this is three world champions from last year going to land, kind of like backs against the wall. They kind of shit the bed this split. They're going to want to play well. Um... I don't know. I don't know if, honestly, I don't know what the, what the popular pick is in this one. Like, I want to see the pick site when it updates, like, what people are picking. Because um, I can imagine it's going to be closer to 50-50, but I would love to pick LAT here. But don't worry. Don't worry. Just because I'm not picking them here doesn't mean they're out just yet. All right. Then we got Toronto, Seattle. I'm going Toronto, obviously. I don't think that's really much of a surprise. Um, but who knows what 0-4 has got for us on land. That could be interesting. Um, you, then, do know, I, you do know that at the both times mm-hmm. L.E.T. has been in Losers Round 1, they've lost Losers Round 1. You've never, you've never seen them at Major 3, though, this season, so don't you okay, worry. Okay, get to Don't you worry. Uh, and then Optic Ravens. I actually do think Optic Ravens is low-key an upset potential series because we just know what Ravens are capable on land. I'm still going Optic, obviously, with that being said, but I, I wouldn't count out Ravens altogether here. 
for anybody. I think LAT subliners is the biggest upset potential. I think Ravens Optic is the second biggest, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Preston's a fa Preston and Alex are Fades fans, and I'm a New York fan chat. We're all getting out. We're all getting outed today. Um, okay, so then that means for my bracket, I got Ravens dropping, Surge dropping, LAT dropping, and Miami dropping to uh, losers, snoozers. Okay. Shit. All right. Work. Okay. For uh, elimination round two, I'm going Las Vegas Legion. I'm taking the Legion over the Miami Heretics. Um, I would love to see Miami win. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, they're really fun and they're exciting when they're winning. I really like the hype they bring. But uh, I, Dylan Attach is my guy. And Nero has been cooking recently, too. Nero has been one of the best hardpoint players in the league this year. And given his role, it's actually really impressive. Um, LAT Boston. Uh, LAT are probably going to smoke show these guys. If we somehow... If we somehow lose to Boston on land, brother, I, I, I think I'm going to be, I'm not going to be on the show anymore if we somehow lose to Boston. Um, so you're going to have to find and find someone else to host the show. Uh, Seattle Rocker, I'm going to differ again here. I'm going to go Minnesota Rocker over Seattle Surge here on land. Um, I think the, I think the land experience of uh, Lamar, I think Lynn's got a couple under his belt. You're bringing in, you brought in Standy and Gunless. I think Gunless is going to want to show out at his first pro major in a very long time um and seattle they looked good their teamwork is good but i'm just not sold on them especially when it comes to the slaying department even when they're winning they're still getting out slayed um and i'm kind of just i'm kind of just thinking we're gonna get like a gunless master class on land here for this losers round one uh and then ravens gorillas i'm going ravens uh no adam assault you know no no i don't know i don't got a saying no zinni no winnie i don't got a saying for this one but no assault no hand warmers in your chalk, essentially. Um, hand warmers are kind of everything, I think. Um, next up, we got elimination round two. I'm going LAT over the Las Vegas Legion. I think we take down the Las Vegas Legion. I think this could actually be an interesting one. We'll see how Johnny plays on land, but I got us over them for sure. Then we got Rocker Ravens. I have Ravens over Rocker. Uh, I just, I don't want to bet against this Ravens team, man. Uh, like I said earlier, when they're all playing together in their li little facility, uh, they're winning, and when they're on land, they're winning. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to bet against them because they've just looked significantly better when they're in the same room on the same stage together. So shout out to Ravens. Now we get to have some fun. Winners round two, Phase versus Subliners. I'm going to New York. No, I'm going Atlanta Phase. Uh, I, it's obvious, right? I think I think Phase are probably going to take them down. To be fair, New York typically play Phase relatively well. Um, but yeah. I mean, come on, come on. Not with this new map set. Yeah, no. The New York is getting costed by this new map set. Then we get Optic versus Toronto Ultra. Opt Optic versus the hometown team, man. Toronto in Toronto. They've been looking it. a bit better. I'm going Optic Texas. I just, I really, I know some people are saying like, and even the betting odds have Toronto tied with Optic. And I know some people are saying that Tor Toronto could, I've seen people say Toronto is the second best team over Optic. I just, you can't say that at this point, man. You really can't say that at this point. So give me Optic Texas there. Uh, so what does that mean? That means New York drops down to play Ravens, right? And Tur Ultra drop down to play LAT. Oof. Yeah, so, um, oof. You know, I'm an LAT fan, man. And, um, I, I'm just, listen, I'm not going to let bias get in the way. I got Toronto beating LAT in elimination round three. Uh, I would love to see LAT make top four at this major more than anything. I, I would sacrifice my soul to see LAT get top four at the major. Um, but drawing Toronto in this bracket and eliminate, yeah, it, exactly what Flashy said. At the end of the day, I think we're a top six team. I think we should have top six. And I think top six is kind of like our, our goal here. You know what I mean? Um, we've gotten back to back top 12s. Top eight would be an improvement, let alone top six would be a much better improvement. Top four would be insane, but it's, it's a reach. You know what I mean? Um, I think we have upset potential versus New York, maybe even versus Ultra. Who knows how they come out and play that day? But we haven't, we haven't won a series on land. So I just, I don't want to over, I don't want to over, so over uh, fan bias cheese here. So I'm going there. But, but I have an upset in the next match. Mm. I'm going Carolina Royal Ravens over the New York Subliners on land again this season to book a top four. Mm. I think that, you know, 
LAT, I do think, could do it in winner's round one. But I just got this feeling, man, after losing the phase, they're going to be a bit demoralized. Ravens, these guys just, I really, I have faith, man. I have faith. I feel like I've kind of doubted them a bit this season because I'm like, you know, they, they fellow just looks horrible online half the time. And like, but TJ has <laughs> been looking much better. Clay's honestly been looking a bit better. Uh, Gwyn has been amazing. Um, so give me, give me Carolina. Give me Carolina. Then, like we, it. then we get into our top four. Uh, dude, it's just, I feel like it's boring, but I'm going Toronto Ultra over the, the Carolina Royal Ravens. I just think that home crowd buff, I, I think they're going to be better. They got, they won major one. They got top four at major two. I think they do it again. And then we got optic phase. I'm going phase. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, Chad. This, the rest of this is kind of pretty straightforward, at least for, for a prediction where I'm trying to get some right. I think it's pretty straightforward. I got Optic Texas versus Atlanta phase in the grand finals, and I got phase taking it. As much as I think Opti as much as I think Optic have a chance to do it, man, I think they've been getting better and better each split. Until they beat phase once, I'm just gonna pick phase every time. You know? As soon as once they beat phase one time, you I'll be much to. more yeah, I'll be much more inclined. But as of now, it's just it's just too dark. It's just too listen, hard. Listen, chat. Listen, chat. Um Alex and I are massive Optic fans, and you really you don't say we're we're both sitting here saying that until we beat them once, it's hard to. It's literally exa the exact opposite of last year. You could you practically could not pick Phase to beat us last year because we had their number. It's the exact same this year, and until we beat them one time, mm -hmm. I I can't I can't pick against Phase. That one time can come literally any time, but until that one time happens, I. I can't. I can't go against them. Neither can the other two, apparently. <laughs> yeah. If FaZe win through winners, they get a 20 win streak. Uh, no, I don't think they'd be on 20, but I do think if FaZe win the first three matches, I think they, they, I think they set the record for most matches in a, in a row, right? I think it's if they if they it's two if, to tie, three to break. Two to tie, three to break. Yeah. So if they if they make it to the finals through winners, they would uh yeah they would they set the record. Major two on a loss. They won four, four in a row, row seven, seven in a row. They're at eleven. Oh wait. Yeah. So it'd be three to tie, four to break. Oh, no, so they have to win the event. Yeah, because wait, because isn't it fourteen? Didn't Toronto just do fourteen? I really don't know for sure. I think Toronto literally just did 14 from Major 1 to Major 2 quals. Nah, there's no way, right? Record is yeah. 13, MNK said. Is the record 13? Cold War Phase? Yeah, I think Cold War Phase has the record. Yeah, but I thought Toronto tied them and then they played Phase to break and Phase smacked them. I thought that's what just happened. Maybe. Oh, Toronto, Toronto was at 12. 12. Oh, they were playing they them to tie. to tie? Okay. Damn. They didn't tie it. Okay, yeah, so okay. They, were, they were at 12. Okay, so record's 13. So two to tie, three to break. So they need 14 to break. Yeah. Hey, man, there's a team to do it. I mean, they're going to have a path, you know what I mean? They're going up against New York or LAT, and then they're going up against Ultra for Optic on land. Like, it's definitely, uh, their work's cut out for them. But, you know, if they can do that, they're earning it for sure. It would be very poetic for them to win two matches tie and then optics first win to come at the chance of them breaking the cd cd cdl record dude honestly dude honestly it would <laughs> it would be insanely poetic <laughs> it really would but a uh, chat those are our brackets let me let us know right now in chat for everyone who's here who do you have winning the event or who do you have in your grand finals and winning and then any hot take you have for this event whether it's a player you think is going to go crazy whether it's a team making a deep run Feel free to throw some hot takes. I'm trying to see what you guys got. I'm trying to see what you guys got. Phase, good. I have take. a feeling we're going to see mostly phase probably picks. We might see an ultra in there. We I might see an optic. Slam, God, land, lock in. That's not a hot Need. take. That's not a hot take. Phase. <laughs> LAT, LAT double, double first rounded. first rounded. Oh, fueled brother, brother. You we know, need to lock in. I would hate like as much as I hate to say this. Kind of not a hot take, really. I mean, I mean, they haven't proven any otherwise. You know what I mean? I don't think that'll happen. But it's not the not... hottest take. It's definitely hotter considering they're a top four seed, but... Yeah, for sure. Dude, I do want to say, we earned a top four seed and we still have to play two New York subliners round one, dude. This shit's so ass. 
NYSL top two on some crazy shit? That would be insane. I'm not gonna lie. The way they've looked, that would be insane. Breach win a series uh, on land. I mean, they're either playing New York or Thieves, so it's definitely. I mean, that's typical if they can beat either of those teams on land. Yeah, they should lose to both of those teams. They should, you know. Yeah. New York subliners, man. Ultra Optic gets top six after losing to Ultra and Thieves. No, thank you. Next. Surge take Ultra to a game five. I could actually see that happening. Honestly, I can see that. If, dude, if it gets game five, I'm taking Surge. You want Ultra a chat prediction? What do you want the, uh, you like a poll for what? What's the, what are the options on the poll? I'm down to run something. What do you want, like four teams? You want chat to make their own bracket? Just do like different, that let them pick the entire bracket. Do you want chat to make the whole bracket? Holy uh, shit, that might be a mess. That might be a mess. It might take a while. Yeah, that would take a long ass time to get through every single one and you'd to have, have them to, agree. You'd have to you'd have to do like thirty seconds a uh, a poll. Holy Can shit! Can you do that? Uh, I mean, I would. I just I'd just manually end it. That'd be a lot, though. That would be a lot. That would be a lot. You'd have Boston. Yeah, dude. They would have they would have Boston versus Surge in the finals or Miami. <laughs> Do you guys think Miami will win a map or go 0 and 15? No, I think they go 0 and 15 and then they win a map. I think, uh, yeah, no, I think they probably get 3 0 by phase. And then I think they, I mean, Alex and Preston have them beating Legion. I had them losing, but I still, I do think they could take a map off Legion. I would say it's probably, uh, I think they could do it. NY going out NY going out 12 would be insane. It would be a hot that's definitely a hot take. Because dude, okay. if they would have to lose to Boston to go out top 12. Yeah. They would have to lose to Boston. I mean, dude, if we I mean beans, you know, beans on land, who knows? I'm not kidding. Any if NYSL played any other team in loser draw what but Boston, I'd say okay, there's a possibility. I just don't see that happening. Yeah. I don't. They could have played LAG. They could have played Minnesota. They could have played Legion. And I would have said, you know what? There's, there's, a, there's a chance, but mm. not, not Boston. No, not the worst team by far. Would Ravens no. top 12 be a hot take? Yeah, I think Ravens going out T12 would be a hot take. I mean, you don't expect them to. I mean, them losing to LAG isn't the craziest thing, right? I mean, them losing Optic, obviously, and then LAG is not the craziest. But I would say, I would say Ravens are favored over LAG. It yeah. is pretty cool, though. The two teams that got top six last major would face off in losers round one this major. So one of them wouldn't even have a chance, really. Barring an Optic win. I mean, like, like, like if Optic wins. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. I mean, if, Opt if Ravens beat Optic, which, like I said, I do think is low-key like a possible upset, that would be crazy. I would, dude, I would love to see one of the top four teams lose in winners round one because then it makes it so much more interesting because then you get top four teams pretty much not guaranteed, but top four teams playing each other in elimination round three, probably. Like, if Optic lost, you could see, like, Optic versus New York in elimination round three. And then that, and then that just, I don't know, makes it more interesting that way. Yeah, I don't know how comfortable I feel playing Royal Ravens round one on land, to be honest. I'd rather play Miami again. <laughs> I'm sure you would. They haven't won a map. <laughs> <laughs> Think a phase LAT series would be close again. I think it could be close again too, man. I do, but our control has just been so bad, bro. Our control has been abysmal. Is T so undefeated against Pred on land? Yeah, probably. I don't think Carolina has played Optic on land this year. So yeah, I'd say so. Shout out Teach. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second, chat. I, I forgot about the storylines. I gotta make an adjustment. <laughs> I think Pred is 2-0 this year against Teach, but both have been online. Yeah, they so. de he definitely beat him at least once online. Wait, is there, any ch is there any, like, birthday cheese or something we need to know about for these matches heading into this weekend? Is it anyone's birthday? Anyone's mom's birthday? Like, that sh I'm telling you, that shit matters. Dashy 20v1. That's the buff. Dashy 20v1 buff. All right, they're going to make grand finals and lose to face. That's a good buff. <laughs> Golly. Uh, sorry, Optic. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. 
really off the top of my head. Yeah, no, I I couldn't tell you when players' birthdays are. I really have no idea. Uh, what, who do you guys have as your MVP then? We all have phase winning. Who do you have as your MVP? I'd probably say so. I'll say simp. I'm going to I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go draws. I'm gonna go draws. I'm gonna go oh, I'm gonna go, go Sim. It's Crowder. Crowder, let's go. I'm thinking Cell, maybe. I mean Cell is the favorite, betting favorite. He's gonna put up 1.5 probably. I'm gonna go with Tupac. I think they sub in Nikki D. Upcast. Upcast is, has he hella beef with you right now, Alex. I don't know what Upcast is even talking dude, about. I, st I still can't see chat. You still can't see chat? It's just broken? No. Upcast has been saying for the past 20 minutes that you have been stealing their answers, you're <laughs> dodging their questions, mm -hmm. and that you have it out for them. <laughs> Who's Upcast again? I don't, honestly, I don't remember who that is. Oh, oh, damn. we said who's Upcast? Oh, oh my god! No, like, no, like, I'm being genuine. Like, who is that? Lucky less hit, and you couldn't ban me. Can you tell us about your emotional breakdown? That's from Upcast. <laughs> what does that mean? What's lucky, lucky less? Lucky less, like uh, less than kills. I guess when we did prize picks. Lucky less. Oh, how the fuck is that supposed to affect me? That motherfucker ain't on my I team. I don't know. Did you take Lucky more? I don't know. <laughs> you might have. I don't remember. I uh, should I be doing? But so, so Breaking Point just tweeted something out, which I think is interesting. They tweeted out a, an article, CDL Player Poll Part 1, League Format. They asked okay. players questions about the league format, and the players, I guess, anonymously answered. So this is actually going to be interesting. Uh, question 1, they asked, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you grade this season's format? And the average vote was a 4.5. <laughs> the highest, the highest rating was a 7. And only two people voted at a 7. Not a single player said the lead format was an 8, 9, or 10. Good. Two people Never actually gave it a 1. Two people gave it a 1. <laughs> that's, that's Bruce. <laughs> yeah. Or no, yeah, two people gave it a 1. 12 people gave it a 5. But 4.5 is the, is the average. Which makes sense, because that's like medium like that's what we kind of expect the players some people are they don't mind some of the out like some like the way league is ran in some aspects but they yeah. hate other aspects especially it, some so. younger players like they might not they don't know anything different so they might just be like whatever you know what i mean yeah. did they I'm, ask I'm all 48 um let me see Let's if see. it says well, i mean you we could, could count the, we, we could, could count two... it says they reached out to 50 professional players this season oh wow I didn't want to have to count, so I was looking to see if they had a number. So it says they reached out to 50. All right, question two. What season that you competed in or watched had the best format? 63% voted BO4. Mm, followed, up by, followed up by World War II, then BO3, then AW, and Vanguard slash Cold War. BO4 was elite. Top two. Oh, 75% answered. So what's 75% of 50? Like, 40? I don't even know. I can't do math. 37 and a half. Is, are, you, are you the GOAT? I like numbers. Data analytics, man. Dude, <laughs> spectacles ain't, ain't getting past the accusations. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, shout out PO4. Even World War II getting 18% of the vote is, uh, I mean, CWL, brother. CWL. All right, question three. Which tournament, I don't know how many questions there are, by the way. Which tournament format is the best for COD? And 67% said round robin and double elim bracket, followed up by group stage. And is that, is that what that means? Group stage and double elim bracket? Or it says GSL pool play. Okay, GSL pool play, double elim bracket. And then. What's, what's GSL? I think GSL would be. Well, GS would be group stage, right? Group stage. Ladder? 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 I guess so. And then, yeah, so I mean, most people want to round robin into a double elim. Well, that's typical, because that's what it should be, probably. <laughs> Which league match format would you prefer? Question number four. 48% said MLG style, 46% said BO4 style, and 5% said CDL style. Oh, I wasn't around for the MLG days, so I have no idea what that is. What even is? 
37.5 or 37.5 people answered and 5%. So like one to two people said CDL basically. Those dog shit fucks. Who was it, dude? Which rookies <laughs> were it, dude? Who, which rookie said that, dude? Come on. 04 has some explaining to do. Yeah, 04, <laughs> dude. Real, Quinn, someone own up to it. Someone own up to it. But yeah, dude, I mean, any of these would be so much better. I, I gotta be honest, I have no idea what the MOG style is. It was basically just like league matches, which are online or on land, which led into, I mean, it says over here, which led into playoffs from other lands. Uh, they did like 2Ks and 5Ks, I'm guessing, would be kind of in this oh. for, for, pro, for uh, points. Oh, that's what I would prefer. Those shits were elite to watch. Yeah. Uh, should pool play return? Every single player agreed that pool play should return. There's not even a graph. Literally 100% of the people that answered said pool play should return. W. 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 Dude, see, this stuff, does it make a change? Like, will, will anyone from Activision see this and make a change? Probably not. But at the very least, shout out to Breaking Point for doing this. Because there's a chance someone sees this and they're like, Damn, 100% of the players want pool play to return. Maybe we should listen. But, you know, whatever. Uh, question six. How many teams should make champs in a 12-team league? 45% said eight teams only. 40% said 12 teams, so all of them. 10 teams was 13%, and 12 teams and challengers got one vote, basically. I actually don't mind that. I, I'm not, like, on one side more than the other i actually think if you suck all year you shouldn't be able to compete for that much money yeah like, no i agree in, in what in what world should boston be able to compete for like two million or whatever the prize pool is like yeah. four million like how how should they be able to compete for that tournament money i, I just I don't think that's fair to everybody else yeah i mean you imagine, dude, can you imagine Boston? They, there's 12 teams that made champs. Boston makes it, and they make, like, a run. They get, like, top three, and they make a shit ton of cash. They did nothing all season. That's EG, man. EG in World be, War II. Yeah. That'd be kind of kind of legendary, though. It would be. I mean, it would be sick for the storylines. Uh, question seven. How many teams should make champs in a 16-team league? 50% said 12. 31% said all 16. 5% said 12 teams with a 1 through 4 buy. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other shit in there. A couple of different yeah, things. Yeah, that's, that's cool. But 12, 12 teams, teams cool. out of 16. So basically, we have now with 4 missing. It would just be a you know larger, more teams overall would be making it. Yeah, that's cool. First uh, top 4 seeds get a buy. That's cool. That would be cool, too. That would be cool, too. You start yeah. out in, in winner's round 2. Start off in winner's round 2, and the other 2 and all the other 8 teams are double elim. I could rock with that. Would you join a player's association? 53% said they would. 39% said they were interested. So, but maybe. And 8% said they were not. So that's probably like three to four players. So a player's association. Why would see. you not want a player's association? Well, it like, says, so it says the player's union would require every player to pay dues for lawyers and personnel. It'll deal with much larger issues in which most players will have different priorities and views, which disrupted the previous attempt to create a union. Purpose for the association would be advocating for changes, whether it's rule set, map set, league format, or anything else that impacts players. Uh, it could give an avenue to coordinate discussion and voting systems for GAs instead of having a Twitter group chat. It overall give a unified voice and ability to push for more assets or players to use. So, I mean, they, so yeah, like, you, and I remember this, they tried to create the union, it didn't work out. Um... I mean, a players' association, a players' union, I think is pretty much always a good thing. But these players probably don't want to pay dues. Uh, yeah. You know, especially the ones who are on minimum contracts or really aren't making a lot of money uh, or might not be in the league next year and they know this is their last chance at the paycheck. <laughs> uh, there's only two more questions. Question nine. Would you volunteer time in the offseason to help developers? 89% mm. said that they would volunteer their time to help better the incoming title. That's dope. That's dope. That's actually really sick. I mean, imagine, dude. I'm at, like, I mean, you can see here. Uh, with four to five months off seasons, devs could work with them to polish rule sets, hardpoint rotations, bomb sites, spawn systems, weapon tuning, and much more before the game even releases. Like, that would be sick. Now, the only problem is COD isn't, isn't built for competitive. It's built for casual. So they really don't give a shit what the 200, 300,000 people who really care about competitive COD want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But 
I think that'd be sick. It would be sick, and it that should be a hundred percent. The eleven percent of people that said no, there are cocksuckers. <laughs> I mean, that's like what four or five players that said no. That's four you, or five. We gotta suckers. find those motherfuckers, bro. We gotta find them at champs. We're hunting them. Actually, they're probably not even gonna be at champs. I would bet. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I just have a feeling. Uh, no, honestly, if people who said no probably are like maybe older players who just don't see themselves playing much longer and don't feel like helping, or younger players who just are like, I don't care. I'm just gonna play the game. Mm-hmm. Or they love COD and they just don't feel like it needs ten changes. And then number ten, do you have faith in the league to create the best format to grow next season? Next year is the sixth season, and the first COD of the four-year development title. Exactly fifty percent said they have faith, and forty percent said they do not have faith, or forty-five percent. I don't know where the other five percent went, but they disappeared somewhere. They left it blank. Fifty percent said they have faith in the CDL to have a better format next year for growth. I hope so. Those, those, they're, those are COD players, if you ask me, bro. Every COD player has faith the next game is going to be good. These COD players have faith the CDL is going to be good next season. That is what you like to call hopeless optimism right there. That's hopium, dude. They're huffing right there, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, I do think there's definitely things they can do mm-hmm. next season and they almost should do with almost no excuse, like having pro-ams next year. I don't think there's any reason we shouldn't, I mean, at the, at the very least have a pro-am, if not two, if not every event have a pro-am next year. I, maybe we don't get expansion, but like maybe an extra more major, events. some pro-ams. Yeah, more events, something, bro. Like there's got to be something that they, if next year is the exact same as this year, despite everything they just changed, it's pretty much a waste. Like, you know what I mean? I guess the teams get their money back, which is cool, but like, man. Man. Yeah, not ideal. Oh, man. Coda said, what are you going to do if Optic choke slams phase through the main stage and 3 O's them in under an hour? Brother, I will, dude, I'll gift like 25 memberships to chat if that shit happens. I'll, 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 I don't know what I'll do. I don't want to say anything too crazy because, you know, it's not completely out of the off the table, but there's almost no chance Optic 3 is phase in under an hour. No disrespect to, uh, to Optic, but, you know, they couldn't even 3 LA Thieves. You know what I'm saying, chat? You know what I'm saying? LAT is better than phase confirmed. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh man, but uh, we've been live for like an hour and a half. It's already uh, Preston's already in tomorrow over there, bro. He has it like in the future. Uh, Did I, Optic I win next. the major yet? Did Optic win the major yet? Let me check. No. Shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But uh, chat. Any any final hot takes questions for us? If not, it's going to be time to round it out. I think so. Uh, everyone can go to sleep. Give you guys. I'll give you guys like thirty seconds. Anything else you guys have for us? Before we close it off and we head into the major. Baby, Trissy. Beefy <laughs> young Trissy. Oh my god. Yeah, Baby this was a good show. This is another good show. I mean, we'll be live, obviously, uh, after the major again. I did. We did. Have, I did have a couple people in the watch party say that they think we should go live like one night after matches during the uh, the event. Um, I don't know if that's something you guys want to do or even have the time to do, but if you do, feel free to let me know. You obviously don't have to answer right now. You can think about it, but... I mean, I'm always down. It just really depends how tired I am, honestly. Yeah, true. You're going to be there. You're going to be You're gonna be yeah. in the pit. Oh, Wait, is, it, uh, is this still uh, EST in Toronto? Or what time zone are you in? Bro, it should yeah, be it, it should be EST. It should be EST. Question for Preston and Alex. If Optic win champs and Scrap is available, would you want him? No. Well, not next question. Question, no. You win champs, you keep the team that you won champs with. I don't know what brain dead organization would win champs and then change their roster immediately after, but it sounds like a recipe for disaster, and I want no parts of it. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't think anyone would ever do that. I don't, I don't think anyone would do that, right? yeah that Surely would just be not. silly that would just i mean especially like imagine not only just winning champs but winning half of the events that season in and what some people like to say is the most competitive league the cdl's ever had i don't know that's an interesting thought i don't know if anyone would ever do that but shit 
Need to go back to 5v5? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm dude. in, brother. Run I don't know, but if, 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 if the game has to, the game and the maps have to be suited for 5v5. Like, I BO4 was 5v5. significantly better than 2019, bro. If I had to watch MW 2019 again, I, I, I just think I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. Could you imagine 5v5 Vista? <laughs> I don't even 5v5 Bowcage. Dude, I don't think the servers would even be able to handle it. To be honest, Dude, the servers can't. The servers, the servers can't handle. They can't handle the current amount. <laughs> I think five Vista people are dropping 50s, 60s. Oh, dude, you know what the seat? This is. I mean, this is slightly off topic, but you know what the CDL needs to do? I, this would work perfect in an All Star weekend. For the love of God, if we could just get something like that back, they should hire us three. Well, that's a good one. But I was going to say, a 48 player, right? Because there's 48 players in a league. You can even add coaches if you want in this, or even like owners like Hex and Nature who play. But all the people who are in the CDL, Warzone match. Solos. No, shots even... Like, throw that shit into a, uh, through an All-Star weekend. Do like a solo, solo YOLO CDL match and have all the CDL players drop into Warzone. Maybe you do like Rebirth, so it's a smaller map. They and just see who comes out on top. They did that a couple years ago, I think. Did they actually? Yeah, Rambo won. I'm not even kidding. He did. He didn't. He won what like King, didn't he get some yeah. shit that was like uh, president of Verdansk or some shit like that? Yeah, he 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 was in a truck in the zone and just ran everybody over in his truck. Yeah, dude. I can we do that again? It. See, like, can we do that again? Yeah, I don't remember that. But yeah, All Star Weekend, bro. Like, there's just like it's just the little things, man, that show you care about the league and are fun for the fans. I know the players probably don't want to take a week off and like not scrim with their teams or practice to do an all star weekend, but suck it up, brother. You're making a shit ton of money to play a video game for a living. Oh, God. Well, I'm out here slaving and shit. Yeah, right. Press I mean, Alex has been out here. He answered like six phone calls during the podcast. <laughs> he's, he's out here eating on crustables, answering phone calls. Meanwhile, Especially these motherfuckers are making hundreds of thousands of dollars playing COD. Especially if they do like two or three week breaks in between majors, take one of those break week breaks and just make it a week all star week, like all star break. Yeah, they already do. They already do breaks, so like yeah, there's no reason like at the end of major three, like in this next two week period. Obviously, it's too late to happen now, but I'm saying like this three week break that's about to come up. There's no reason one of these weekends can't be all star weekend, because by this point in the year, you know the all stars. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, All Stars in a lot of sports is what, like halfway through the season, pretty much. Pretty much. So I mean, baseball's July, which is halfway. Hockey's yeah. like February, which is halfway. Yeah. So yeah, I just think like they can like I like Tyler says it'd be boring. They can make it interesting. Like sure, All Star Weekend in any sport. Like for the NBA, I watched a three point contest. I watched a dunk contest. I watched a little bit of the All Star game. It's not necessarily for everyone, but it's just like. There's plenty of diehard fans out there that would watch that and did watch it in other years when they did stuff like that. When they did the 1v1 tourney, when they did, you know, other things like that. And, and back in like 2019, when they actually tried to make the league fun in the first year. Yeah, I, I used to watch the All-Star matches all the time back in like IW, World War II, Black yeah. Ops 4. Dude, they show, they show on their stupid, uh, the clips they show on stream during the games. They show the all-star match clip with Nameless when he turns into the dog in IW. Yeah, they yeah. show that every stream, bro. And you just see how much fun the players were having, the casters, the crowd. Like, come on, man. It's like you've done it in the past. You know you can do it. They They're just too fucking lazy. They're too yeah. lazy. They're too late. I mean, I get it. Things cost money and they want to save money. And they're really not making any money off COD Esports. It's probably a loss leader for them in some in a lot of ways, but brother please i'm begging you dude i'm begging you shit it could be online it doesn't even have to be on land it could be online I i'd rather it on land but i'll take one step at a time one step at a time it needs to be on land man. i don't know i think it would need to be on land but you know I, like i said seriously just do something dude just do something hire us man hire us we'll plan a whole all-star weekend for you for absolutely free i'm absolutely free i'll do it i'll, I'll plan, I'll plan a whole itinerary for you We'll make it happen, man. The, throw Zuma and hitch the bag and let them organize the whole event for you. Yeah, you know what true. I mean? Like, like yeah. you know, do something, brother. Do something. There's plenty of passionate fans out there like that have hosted events like Hitch, like Zuma, that would probably do it for you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Anything else from you guys, man, before we kind of round it out? 
That's it for me, man. I don't have much else to say. Uh, brackets in. Uh, everybody enjoy the uh, the tournament. Uh, I have a feeling this one's going to be a, a, a banger like the last. Um, it might even be more of a banger, dare I say, because we might have some slippage in the top four, maybe. Slippage. We'll, I mean, we'll, we'll see. But uh, everybody enjoy the, uh, the major. I'm going to bed. Um, as always, go Optic. While I do think they probably come in second again, I want them to win, as always. So, that's all. You guys are the best, as always. I'm out. Yeah, I mean, I hope I get to see some of y'all in Toronto. Uh, if not, you know, other boys will be holding it down here virtually. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, hope for some banger matches. Because uh, I'm pretty sure right after Toronto, we go straight into major four qualifiers. So, yeah, no, um, no break. Yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah, there's yeah. no break between major three and major four quals. Like it's Which, literally the week after. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! I'm pretty yeah. sure uh, unless they, unless they change. Oh no, there might be a break now because the whole event got canceled and they had to. They had to, you know, the Carolina canceled hosting the event. I think originally there was no break. There actually might be a break now because that's what chat's saying too. Oh damn! So we actually might have a one. Oh break. yeah. Yeah, because they pushed it back a week. Yeah, because they pushed it back because motherfuckers cancel shit. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I hope everyone has a great day, week, wherever you're at. You know, if you're across the pond, if you're in Antarctica, wherever you at, have a great day, have a great week. Antarctica. Um, Damn. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Um, but yeah, again, I we 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 always say this. Thank you for all the support. We love each and every one of you. Uh, we appreciate for all the interactions that y'all have with us. Um, so we we wouldn't be doing this without y'all. So again, we truly appreciate all the support. Uh, and as always, go Optic. Yeah, chat. Everyone who's here right now, thank you guys for hanging out and chatting with us all night. Everyone who's watching in post, uh, we appreciate you just as much as we say every episode. Um, it really does mean a lot to be able to talk about you know something we're all passionate about. So it is really cool. It is really, really cool. And we appreciate the support on every single episode. Um, if you don't follow us on Twitter, uh, it's in it's down below if you're watching in post. It's not there right now, but you can follow the Around the CDL Twitter if you're watching right now in live. It's in the description. Uh, that's where we'll post you know, updates and stuff about the show when we're going live. So we hope to see you all next week for the show. Um, if you're in Toronto, say what's up to Alex. Take a picture with him. Tag us on Twitter so we can see all your cute faces with him. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe he'll let you wear his Optic hat. <laughs> and uh yeah chat let's go la thieves uh, we're gonna run it up in toronto and i uh, hope you all have a good major peace yeah, see you chat